Hey there, this is Heidi from Create with Heidi and today I am going to show you how to make a cup out of cardstock and use vinyl to do some of those finer details on the cup so you don't have to mess around with small thin pieces of cardstock. For this first part of the video, I'm going to put together the cup. I have folded the tabs on the top and bottom round pieces and now I am putting together that main piece of the cup with the tabs and a little bit of glue. I'm pushing the tabs in through the slots so that I can glue them in place and secure the bottom of the cup. Now I am going to be putting together the lid of the cup. Following those same steps as the main part of the cup, pushing the tabs through, gluing those little tabs down. If you are interested in this design, I found it in Cricut Design Space. Okay, now I am putting the outside layer of the cup around that inner part that I did. What this does is it hides those tabs from the bottom and gives it a thicker, sturdier foundation. Okay, now I am gluing the pieces of the top of the cup onto the lid. There are a couple trim pieces just to help make it look more finished. That is what I'm working on now. And now there is this little tag that is meant to look like the part of the tea bag that hangs outside of the cup. This is where I will be using my first bit of vinyl. I am just using Tech Wrap Matte Vinyl and I am putting the person's name on the tag for who this is going to. And I am also using pieces of vinyl to embellish the handle of the cup. Okay, now I've got my string I'm going to use for hanging off the side of the cup. I'm going to glue it on the inside of this tag so that it is hidden from view. Okay, now I'm going to finish the handle. I have one more piece to put on. I love using vinyl for those smaller details of projects rather than using cardstock. When I was newer to crafting, I would cut everything out in the same materials so everything was the exact same. But as I have spent more years crafting, I have realized that it actually looks nicer uh, for those small details to be done in vinyl so that they lay flat, they don't have that frayed effect to them, and they save me a lot of time.
So right here, I am putting words on the side of the mug. If I had cut these out in cardstock, this would have been the most time consuming piece of this project and probably would have not looked as clean and crisp on the side of this mug if I had done it in cardstock. I wanted this on both sides of the mug so that the mug could be displayed in either direction for the person I'm giving it to. Okay, I have one more cardstock embellishment to put on this. Again, it's just hiding the tabs and making it look like a cleaner, nicer finish. Now that that is on, I'm going to put some glue in between the layers so that I can glue the tea bag string on there so that that doesn't come off. And then once I have that in there and feel like it's pretty solid, I'm going to put a little bit of glue around the rest of it so that last piece of cardstock I put on stays in place. And there we go, the cup is done. For the very last step of this project, I need to fill the cup with tea before I gift it to my work bestie. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned some helpful tips. Thank you for watching.